how to improve your dieting willpower uh, throughout winter lockdown, isolation, etc. So let's just be clear, um, when it's colder, when it's winter, we don't like, we don't move as much, we crave a lot more, uh, we don't drink as much water. And you know, as a result, it's really common that people gain a bit of weight throughout these colder days. Um, on top of all that, we're in lockdown, right? So um, gyms aren't even available to us and maybe your motivation's taken even more of a hit because you know, you're kind of out of your usual routine. Now, um, the first point I just want to start straight off with is if you are turning to extreme diet plans, if you are turning to cutting out all the carbs, if you are turning to shake diets, you are going to crave like a lot. And that takes a lot of willpower and that takes a lot of energy. Now, ask yourself, long term, do you want to be relying on willpower to get your results to stick? No, no you do not. Willpower is kind of like motivation. You just can't rely on that bitch. Like they just don't get the results you want long term. And that's why I just hate, like I'm gonna say that word. That is a strong word, but I feel like it's appropriate. I hate shake diets, rigid written diet plans, extremes, because they create a bad relationship with food. They just don't get you the results that you want long term. Not only that, when you have an event on, you know, eventually when all this COVID stuff blows over, when weddings and stuff go back, etc., you won't know how to handle the situation. You'll most likely blow out and you'll most likely be yo-yoing backwards and forwards um, and staying stuck as a result of that. So what is your strategy? Is it long term? Are you enjoying every single meal? Um, do you have balance with food? And once you get the results you want, are you able to sustain them? All right. Really good questions to ask yourself. Number two, um, how to uh, improve your dieting willpower, which we now know is shit. Eat foods you enjoy. Now, back in my day, back in my day, when I used to compete, um, I was living off chicken and broccoli and quinoa, six meals a day. And man, like the week got hard and I reached a point where I was just hanging for the weekend, wanting my cheat day, which as we know is bullshit and uh, doesn't get the, the results we want and just creates a bad relationship with food. Anyway, hanging for my cheat day um, every single week because I just hated my food during the week. I'd blow out on the weekend, make myself feel like shit, and as a result, um, I started to go downhill from there. So when I first started flexible dieting, I was like, man, like, can I actually eat this? Um, and you know, now that I'm a pro at it, um, I have meals like, look, I love smashed avo like that's one of my meals that i have every single day i love lean turkey stir fry which i have every single day i love um protein pancakes which i have every day i have my paddle pop like my treat changes all the time i have coffee with a bit of milk in it like all these things I really enjoy and it doesn't take willpower or motivation to um, eat them or not have something but because I'm eating my food that I enjoy I don't find it hard to not have something so if someone offers me chocolate ice cream for example I'm kind of like nah because I have a chocolate paddle pop every single day well if you're going to an extreme if you're uh, turning to something like keto for example and let's just be clear all diet plans work by putting us in a calorie deficit um, if you're turning to something like that well, you'll end up craving and most likely blowing out if you try to sustain that long term you'll find it really hard to say no to chocolate ice cream because it's not something you have regularly and if it's if that's something that you really enjoy you'll most likely blow out on it all right it's literally balance. Like flexible dieting is literally learning balance in its finest. Like the saying, uh, everything in moderation is kind of loosely flexible dieting um, if you're not 100% or fully understand macros yet, okay? Okay, um, the other thing I wanna highlight is, even if you're not counting macros right now, you know, rule of thumb, have protein with every single meal. Like still, it's so common, you gals just aren't getting your protein levels up. And if you're not having enough protein, you're gonna be craving. Like so many gals fill up their day with carbs and carbs, 
you know, um, I was on my protein levels the other day, lower than usual, and I was craving, like I was still hungry. Please, rule of thumb, protein with every single meal. So say for example, in my smashed avocado, I bulk up my two eggs with 150 grams of egg whites. I have my two slices of bread, I have my avo, salt and pepper, and it's delish. You know, it's high in protein, it fills me up, um, and I'm satisfied, you know? So think, it's something to think about. Are you getting enough protein, okay? Number three, uh, and I guess this kind of links into turning to extremes or not turning to an extreme, is have your treats. Um, you know, if you don't have the best relationship with food, it might feel a little bit weird to, you know, have an ice cream every single day. But like, really, like sometimes you have to slow down to speed up. And that's why I tell my gals, like it's about learning how to eat, not being told what to eat, e.g. written diet plans, just cutting out carbs, etc. That's easy. But if you want to make this shit stick, it's about understanding food energy content and how you can make this a lifestyle. So say, for example, I have a treat every single day. I do not have a cheat day. I have a treat every single day. So usually that ranges between, you know, a 78 calorie chocolate paddle pop to a little 30 calorie mini Toblerone. Um, but as a result, uh, I never overeat. I'm always consistent. I'm always hitting my protein. And when you reach this level, you never have to use willpower or um, uh, extremes to help you get to get you there, to help you get to where you want to be. Um, An eating day is enjoyable and quite easy. Now, there is a discipline aspect to it because, say, you know, coming into winter, a common theme is, you know, a lot of gals like drinking a little bit more red wine. Now, as we know, with flexible dieting, you can still have those things. You can still, in moderation, have those things and get to where you want to be. Now, overeating or over drinking is something different. So it's where you have to be disciplined and be like, right, I'm going to have a glass of red wine uh, two nights a week, two to three nights a week, and that's going to be it. And that's where you have to, have to be disciplined. But this is still uh, long term. This is still sustainable. And this is when you start understanding food and understanding that you can still have your treats and your treats in a smart way. Um, that's how you can make this shit stick. And that's how you can make it sustainable. Now, I just want to highlight that even though I'm having a paddle pop as my treat, all my other meals I love. Like I love my stir fry, I love my smavo, I love my protein pancakes, I love my corn thins with avo on them, you know. So yeah, um, that's, what, that's what I want you guys to think about. It doesn't come down to willpower. If you want long-term sustainable change to feel good, to get, you, to get where you want to be and then sustain it, this is what it's about. So um, yeah, a little bit of uh, food, for, food for thought. Now, um, if you have any questions about this, please do not hesitate to DM me, um, email me, message me, any questions about this, um, flexible dieting, coaching, training, please don't hesitate to um, DM me, email me and uh, ask. I would love to hear from you. And um, make sure you download my free ebook uh burgers brunches and a badass body um you know uh, there's some really good helpful tips about how you can eat the things that you love and still get the results you want so please download it um send me a dm i can send you the link to download it or just head to the link in my instagram bio and have a sus i hope that helped and uh i hope you were staying warm and safe and healthy and have a lovely thursday